let's say you want to find this limit as x approaches 16 from the right, what the plus means, and you cannot plug in 16 because that would make the denominator, which we care about, zero. So we have to figure out a way to modify this where the denominator is not zero and I can plug in 16. Well, one thing you could do is you could plug in the conjugate. So this would be opposite plus four. And notice I'm doing the top and the bottom because ultimately what you're doing is you're just multiplying by one. So you're not changing anything. So if I multiply this out, I multiply the square root of x times the square root of x, which is x. I multiply the square root of x times positive 4, which is 4 square roots of x. I multiply negative 4 times square root of x, which is negative 4 square roots of x and then negative 4 times 4, which is negative 16. So ultimately what I was doing here was just boiling this top. And the bottom, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to just leave the bottom alone in hopes that something is going to cancel. So we can already see up here that cancels. And I'm left with an x minus 16, which cancels with that on the bottom. So from here now, if I rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 16 from the right, all I have left is 1 up top because everything reduced, canceled out. On the bottom, I just have this piece, so the square root of x plus 4 and now it will not give me a zero in the denominator if I plug in 16. And of course the square root of 16 is four and four plus four and I get my final answer.